To download the program from your computer to the HMI, you need to install the TIA Portal software. You can use any version of TIA Portal to design for HMI. Open the TIA Portal software and create a new project. Click on Add New Device to add a new HMI. You need to ensure that the HMI ID matches the label on the HMI. Now, if you select Start Device Wizard, a pop-up will appear, allowing you to set up the HMI according to Siemens template. I don't want to use Siemens template, so uncheck this option. And then click OK to add a new HMI. Open the hardware configuration to set the IP address for the HMI. Go to the Internet Address section. Enter the IP address for the HMI. This is the IP address that has been configured on the HMI. Leave the subnet mask at its default setting. Next. Open screen 1 and start designing for the HMI. I will create a text using the text field function. You can change the font size in this section. You can also drag and drop images from outside into the HMI. Click on the image and drag it into the HMI. I will use an internal tag to control the on or off state of a lamp using two buttons, on and off. Create a new tag folder by clicking the add new tag table button. Create a bit named LAMP with bool data type. A tag with a bool data type only has two states, on or off. Back on screen 1, we create a circle to represent the LAMP. You can align the text and shape by using the alignment function. In the animation section, we add the color changing property for the lamp based on the tag's value. When the tag is zero, Set the lamp's color to brown. When the tag is 1, set the lamp's color to green. Next, I will create two buttons, on and off. Principle is that when the on button is pressed, the bit is set to 1. And when the off button is pressed, the bit is set to 0. In the button's event properties, select the press attribute. Then enter the set bit function, which will assign the value 1 to the bit. Drag and drop the lamp tag into the tag field. For the stop button, do the opposite by using the reset bit function, which assigns the value 0 to the bit. After completing the design, 
click the compile button to check whether the program is correct or not. If everything is correct, it will display in green. If there are errors, it will display in red. For example, if I forget to assign a tag to the button's event, this area will display a red error, indicating that I haven't assigned a tag to the setbit event. When I click compile again, the software will display a list of errors in red. You need to ensure that you have clicked on the red X button to display all the errors. To locate the source of the error, you need to click the green arrow button, and the software will guide you to the error's location. This is the error, so now, we'll reassign the tag to the setbit event of the button. When I compile the program again, the software displays green, indicating there are no errors. If you don't have a real HMI, you can use the simulation function. Now, when you press the on button, the light turns on. When you press the off button, the light turns off. After successfully simulating, I will download the program to the HMI. Make sure you have connected the Ethernet cable from the HMI to the computer. Click the download button. Select the network card that is used to connect the HMI and the computer. Click the load button to download the program from the computer to the HMI. If you haven't installed the image panel software, the software will display an error message, and you'll need to install the image panel software package to fix the error. The image panel version corresponds to the specific version of the TIA portal software so it will come with the software accordingly. You can download the image panel package from Siemens' official website. After installing the image panel, I will download the program from the computer to the HMI again. When you press the on button, the lamp turns on. When you press the off button, the lamp turns off. We have successfully downloaded the program from TIA portal to the HMI. Thank you.